Well, there's a new talking point on the left. We specialize in keeping track of those. Maybe you have heard it. Instead of calling people racist for voting for Trump or supporting Brett Kavanaugh, that's still happening, of course. But you're starting to hear people describe the entire electoral college, the one prescribed by the Constitution, as itself racist somehow. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who's a leading indicator of Democratic talking points, recently called the Electoral College, quote, a shadow of slavery's power. It was the Electoral College, of course, that got Abraham Lincoln elected. He didn't win the majority of the popular vote, but became president because of the Electoral College, then he ended slavery. So that didn't really make sense, but you're hearing it anyway again and again. Why exactly? What's the point of this? Dana Prino pays very close attention in between hosting the Daily Briefing and appearing on The Five every day, and she joins us tonight. Dana, what is this? About? This seems to come out of nowhere. All of a sudden, everybody's against the Electoral College. Tell us why. Well, it comes in cycles, and I think the last time I really remember hearing a lot about it was after the election of 2000. Um, with Democrats very bitter. Look, in some ways, understandably, right? Yeah, so that I comes agree. down to the recount. Um, the Supreme Court makes that decision. And you started to hear this drumbeat of, you know what? This is not fair. This Democrat saying, this is not fair to us. We win the popular vote. Therefore, we should win the presidency. Doesn't that just make sense? That's the but, way it should be. But wait and a second. I, I didn't, I mean, I'm not that old, but I covered both of Bill Clinton's campaigns, and he never won the popular vote, became president, thanks to the Electoral College twice. Well, I guess you could sort of blame maybe Ross Perot for that if you were, you know, for sure. No, and that's exactly, that, no, but that's true. Oh, that's absolutely what happened, of course. Ross Perot, third party candidate. Mm -hmm. But still, you had a guy who didn't win the majority of the popular vote, who was considered by most people, certainly me, as a legitimate president. Why did that change? Well, I think what you're seeing is that President Trump won the Electoral College. He did not win the popular vote. Hillary Clinton repeats over and over again, but she won the popular vote. But, right, that's not the contest. That's actually not the game. You right. have to win the Electoral College. And President Trump went to states like Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, like Wisconsin being the biggest one. Had Hillary Clinton played the game a different way, if she had maybe tried for, to win the Electoral College than the popular vote, see, the thing is, the founders really wanted our country to be a federalist system. They wanted the states right. to be diverse. They wanted to, basically, you, they do, did give slightly more power to the smaller states, but they generally favor the, the more, more populous states. But Democrats see going forward, California, New York, Florida, all of these big states making decisions that they want, like, for example, Medicare for all. But when some states like Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Kansas, stamp their feet and say no, then the Democrats think that that's unfair. So they just want to change the rules of the game. The idea that it's racist is preposterous. You bring up the great point about Abraham Lincoln. I also just feel that it's Democrats squawking because they're struggling to find a message. They're struggling to find unity. They just right. want to blame the system. And they give the appearance of, one, not understanding our history. Number one, that's a problem. But number two, not appreciating our country and how our founders set it up. That's right. They could just run on middle class economics. That always works. <laughs> Well, this is a big waste of time as well. In our lifetime, the Electoral College is not going to change. In What's your grandchildren's exactly right? lifetime, they might take another run at it. Yeah. Ugh. I pray for that. Dana, thank you. Great to see you tonight. Thanks for having me.